Will you please welcome two representatives of the School Students Against the War, Barnaby Ray and Amy Dunn. Barnaby and Amy. £25 billion pounds is being spent on two new aircraft carriers with no jets to fly off them, yet 40% of our funding is being cut. We cannot let this go on, so what do we want? And where do we want it? Let me hear you make some noise so the people of White Thank you so much. On this cold November's day, we have journeyed from all over London and all over Britain because we know one thing. We are not powerless. However many guns they have and however many bombs they have, they will never be as strong as the force of public opinion. They will never be as strong as the force of our humanity. Let's remember we're here because they are sitting around tables in Lisbon negotiating how many lives must be lost how many billions must be spent, but well, we're here today to say the majority of the British people stand with us, the majority of the Afghan people stand with us, and you cannot go on ignoring us. That's why we're here today. We're here today because, because let me tell you, change is not made by people who sit by on the sidelines and do nothing. Change is made by people who stand up and fight. That's how people, working people, want the vote. That's how women won the vote, that's how people won the right to organise and form trade unions, that's how people have fought the war machine and won, and that's how people will fight the war machine again and again. And again. This is not the time, this is not the time to lie down in the face of that cruel pessimism which says there is no alternative, which says you cannot do anything because this is the only path. This is not the time to lie down and do nothing, it's choice time now. We've got the choice between a society which funds hospitals and schools, a society which says if you want to go to university, yes you can go to university, and a society which says there's no money for schools and hospitals and universities and pensioners and working people, there's no money because the money's already been spent on war and nuclear weapons. We've got a choice today. We've got a choice between a society that says everyone who lives here is part of this country, everyone who lives here is welcome, and I want the government to keep, and I want the government to keep my Muslim neighbours safe. We've got a choice. We've got a choice. We've got a choice between that and a government whose only strategy to save faces is to turn us on each other, to divide and rule, and to say that the enemies of the British people are our Muslim neighbours. Our Muslims are not our enemies. Our enemies are the generals and politicians who live us this world. So we've got a choice today, and let's make one thing very clear, we are here because we 